voice. Uh, yeah, no, yeah that's just wild. Can you hand me those beers? Yeah. Thanks. You know what? You know what's what's yeah. an element that we didn't think about? What's it? Like random sound effects. Air horn button, explosions and stuff. Next time. Mm-hmm. She'd probably use fucking OBS instead of Pro Tools. Yeah. For at least podcasting. Yeah. I'm I would suggest because then you can soundboard shit and just have shit on keys and just like, all right, cut to the scene. And you know what I mean? It could be a whole video thing. Oh, shit. Like without having to like chop it out of here What's and then OBS? put it into the. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's, <laughs> uh, it's the software used to, to stream and stuff. It's just the. A computer software that you can use to like basically just record it to your computer and then you can edit the fucking video or whatever do whatever you want okay I like it. it's easy bro all i'm trying to do right now is trying to get to i think what is it partner on facebook i'm already a creator i got that shit easy but all i gotta do is have like Ten thousand recurring one minute view review uh, views or something whatever. So I, once I get that, then I can run ads in my videos, and then the videos that I stream, I'm gonna run ads for the videos that I stream to make people watch it. So when they watch it, they're gonna get hit with ads. So they're gonna get hit with more ads than I pay to run the ads. So I'm gonna be making more money back See, than what I pay. This is the type of shit I'm talking about right here. That's that's exactly shit, yeah, exactly yeah. yeah. You, take a, you gotta tap in Take advantage of these Kind of things man Cause like, You got to Cause yeah. I, I mean It's not like it's a A loophole it's Like it They're not They don't know that it exists right. You know what I mean yeah. It's there it's if, if you use if it you If you do yep. And you use it If you don't Take advantage of it Exactly huh? Like there's no Okay <laughs> A little tattoo. There's no little secret to shit. It's just once you figure that shit out, it's like that's how it's done. Oh my God. You know what I mean? It's yes. just like unlocking a piece of your brain. Yes. Like yes. you don't know how to do something until yes. you've done it. Yes. Jeez. I'm telling you, I mean, I'm telling you, anytime I find like <laughs> any type of grind or hustle that I'm like, man. Yeah, I'm but but you but you're a sales dude. Yeah. You're a sales guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're a hustle dude. It's like you come with a certain swag, and niggas know. Even though you're, no, even no, though no, you're, no. you're true, you know what I mean. It's just like it's, like, hmm. it's already been kind of programmed in people's heads just yeah. from movies and stupid shit that they've <laughs> yeah. seen. Like, yeah. oh fuck, this is a shyster this kind guy of shit. You know what I mean? Exactly. Me. Fucking fucking a. A. Even if it's some legit shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this nigga's trying to hustle me. I'm like, I'm not getting no money out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just trying to give you the game. For real. I understand that. It's like when you try and tell someone like they think either this guy's either trying to pull me down with him you know what I'm saying or he's trying to get me get off on me basically yeah. you know it's yeah. like a lot of people don't understand or niggas listen are scared. I'm trying to I'm try- yeah that's a big part of it they're scary you know so you scare you're gonna fight or flight but like uh, a lot of people don't put other people on so when it actually happens they're like uh, what's Where's the end I just don't end? understand Where's why people end? don't put they put good they people on cause it's like there's so much out there, you know what I mean? It's not like you're ever going to run out of resources, even though, like, you you can, but you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's just right. the way that you look at it. There's, there's so the, much. The thing is, is, like, when you're in a mindset and you're ready to, like, invest in stuff, like, yeah. especially in the beginning, you're grinding. Like, yeah. you're, you're right here trying yep. to figure out how to get yeah. here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, really, you got to hustle yep. and stack up these little chips one right. by one. And, like, if, when you're ready to take a, it's a risk. It is. It it's always going to be a risk. It For is. For real. It is. But like when somebody comes to you and is like, hey, I see you taking risks, <laughs> but this is a less riskier risk that has a great reward. You're going to be like, fuck you. I've been doing this shit for two years. For real. I don't believe you. I don't trust you. I'm going to be apprehensive. And it's cool to be apprehensive. Like, right. Don't be naive. And you don't know at what point is my like experience wisdom or naivety. Like yeah. You're telling me some shit and I'm like, no, nah, I don't believe that. Because I've been doing it this way, or I've seen other people do it this way. No, yeah. but it's good to be skeptic like that yeah. until yeah. you, until like they show, unless you learn it, you know what I mean? Like, all right, yeah. that shit does work, and then you can put, like put, put, put that shit in there, and like, all right, this shit does work, so next time that shit happens, I, maybe I'll be a little bit more open. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's good to be skeptical, but not so far that you're like skeptical of like good new information. Yeah, you know? until you have valid information yeah. that challenges. Yeah. What you thought was, you know what I mean? People tell you some shit, you be like, I don't believe that. Like, 
you talking about Kanye. I pull up and listen to Kanye. <laughs> Bro, that shit was slapping. That shit was slapping. That shit was slapping. Oh, Everybody they dropped Kanye? That nigga, we wild. They wildin'. dropped the yay? That nigga been... Uh, the Washers in Blood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The Washers in Blood. But, the okay. Don, you know, Donda coming out. Okay, yeah, I, I was like, damn, yeah, Mr. Donda. 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 Yet, but, hey, you know Mr. Donda. But, man, like, what this nigga say? He said something about Harry Tubman. Oh yeah, he said Harry Tubman then free the slaves. She didn't free the black I mean, slaves. She, she, she just she, gave them to the white niggas. Hey, hey, and that's not even like it's not even that far from yeah. the truth. Yeah, she, she, it's just how you look at it. Yeah, it's they, just the way that he said it. Niggas yeah. just like hold Ooh. up, like like yo, we trying to yeah. fight for our cause, yeah. and you gonna fucking rip her like like, like nah, bro. It's not I'm even about know, ripping her. It's yeah. just about being real. Yeah. It's, <laughs> the main thing is he doesn't articulate his thoughts in like. A, a sequence. Take this shit. Yeah. It like, wasn't nobody thinking about that right now. Kanye that came out of left field. He's talking about dinner. Nigga, oh where's that going to be? A kid wanted an abortion? Hold on. Pro life? Nigga, hold on, bro. Wait a minute. <laughs> it, it's a it's a it's a it's a contest between substance. And presentation, you know, that like part. he's 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 giving you he's giving you the steak and the potatoes, you know, what yeah. saying, but he hasn't seasoned them in a way that many people are gonna find applicable to their palate. They're gonna be like, oh, and he didn't give you a knife or nothing. He just he just, uh, he, just he opened it. He opened, it, he opened the door. He threw it in the motherfucker <laughs> in your lap. <laughs> Here, <laughs> eat it whole, nigga. Eat it whole. You know what I'm saying? Shit. To try and say that Harry Tubman. Uh, didn't free the slaves, you know, but just brought them to go work for other white people, you know what I mean? It's Sounds like, I mean, yeah, it, it, it does. It does. They, you know? People bash them, but nobody said nothing. Yeah. Like, what, what, they, what, yeah. All right, all right, he's wrong. What are, what are, your, what are your facts? What do you, <laughs> like, nobody said nothing. Like, oh, no, bro, hey. you know, there's no way you're going to bash her, but nobody hey, gave any, that's, any fucking... That's specifically what I learned about Harriet Tubman was that she just brought him to good white people. Mm -hmm. Like, and not like, it is, yeah, just go up to the north. <laughs> And you go to so and so and so and so. You go to Philadelphia mm -hmm. and just sleep in these white people's house. Mm -hmm. And while you're sleeping in their house, you also cooking for them or doing whatever. Now, granted, it's only because the North didn't have as many plantations. It was more populated. Like they're building cities and stuff. Their, their towns are no. There's no more Native Americans. All that land has been plundered. It's gone. It's over with. So like when you go to the North, yeah, there's less field work. And because I'm inside, you can do every. Y'all can do everything inside. All the stuff in the house, everything, great. No, I ain't no niggas in here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door, and that's it. And the food be cracking. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that. They they try to uh, they say like, oh yeah, well, you know, indentured indentured servants. Indentured servants. Yeah. That's a slave. Mm -hmm. The same shit happening today. You minimum wage. Mm -hmm. You put the word in front of Pe it. People, it's just, it's just <laughs> yeah. constructed so good that they give you enough where you're yes. cool with it. It's or just like, oh, like oh, they give me enough. I could go do this. That's cool. Minimum. Like, this is the, the littlest bit we are allowed to Littlest. give you to continue to have you to work for us and, and that make shit's us more money. Been, and the fact that that shit's been going up was oh, the yeah. fact that it's oh, like these yeah. niggas don't give a fuck. Don't you know what fuck. I mean? They're taking it because they're getting the bread hand over fist. Every dollar that we spend, half, I mean, half of, well, I, I can't say shit for other countries because really all I know is like. No, America no, talk America shit stuff. about the other countries. Oh, no, talk shit. Okay, well, fuck, no, I'm talking about America, really. <laughs> other countries are doing great. But, like, <laughs> we're in debt, not mm -hmm. even just to other countries, but I mean, like, our, like, per capita, our regular, the regular population uh -huh. is in debt. Like, just on some simple stuff. Mm -hmm. Credit card you got when you was 19. Damn, you didn't know you fucked off a thousand dollars just some stuff <laughs> like that. Fucked up your credit, not paying two car notes or some stuff like. That. Yeah, credit is credit is an asset. That credit is we fucking, don't know anything it's about. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Credit is fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. And that's why I feel like a lot of these rich people aren't rich. They're credit rich. They, yeah. okay, you so know they, what I mean? They're they, just like, they, all right, we know you're worth this amount of money, so you can do these these certain type of things. Almost like that movie Justin Timberlake was in oh, with the time, time shit. But but it's the same thing as far mm -hmm. as like how much how much stature you have. All right, you're worth fucking five million dollars, so you can do this because that's how much I know you're worth a year or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you're credible for that much for that much credit or whatever. Yeah. That shit's crazy, bro. When that's you crazy. when you start fucking looking at that shit like that, well, that shit starts making my head fucking explode. 
if you look on the back of your social security card, yeah. you'll see that number. You can look it up. That number is tied to like like the stock market. Yeah. And when you're born, like that number is like ba- basically to put it in like simple terms of the dumbass I don't understand personally because I don't know shit. You know, I'm just layman. You know, you're like when you when you look that up, it's it goes off of like what you're worth pretty much. Right. So like it's like so if you look at your siblings, you all have similar numbers. You know, like uh, you're worth similar to them versus someone that's richer. They're worth more than you when when the, when that when that number's on the stock market. So it's like it's like you're you're shadow from birth basically, you know. Like uh, and it's like uh, I don't know how I feel about that sometimes, you know. I kind of ignore it, but it's like because it's like it don't really affect you. It's like some bullshit they put on top of you, you know. But it's also there too, you know. It's like someone's thinking about you like that way from 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 point A, like you know. Straight off the rip. It's a, it's a little annoying, you know. I don't, that's I don't, how I don't it appreciate is, bro. That that's shit. how shit works. It's like nothing works unless we work. You know what I mean? Yeah, like nothing you know, really functions unless we do the that, stuff that we do. That goes back to what I was saying before. Like fucking, that's what they know how to build upon. And like, if they're starting at a whatever rate or whatever for their existence, nigga, that's already fucking higher than you. Like you said, chattel, nigga, like mm-hmm. motherfucking livestock like really people just to keep their cogs moving you know what I'm saying yeah. make them bread and stuff it's fucked yeah I don't want to be a part of that system you know what I'm saying it is, although I am the only thing that yeah, yeah we're a part of the system and it's all we know that's what I'm saying like it's all we know for us to try to conceptualize that there's another bracket that I, I because of some shit that happened a long time ago that you had nothing to do with when you were born of course but from some ancestry, mm-hmm. some niggas that you know what I'm saying, who really wasn't putting in no work, and still ain't putting in no work, and because mm-hmm. nobody was putting in work before, you don't got to put in work now neither. That's how I see it. For real. Yeah, a, a big part of that problem with like the wealth thing is like I understand that like you're the top of whatever, but the the quality of life that the people that are working hard have like should be a little bit better in comparison to people that are like. Like uh, just t- like not only taking advantage of them, but like uh, but but, but <clears throat> managing them. You know what I'm saying? I, I think the managers, the the, the quality lab between the managers and and the workers is has too much disparity. You know, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like like regular workers, they like you thinking, you think I gotta get that <laughs> money. You know what I'm saying? It's like my my thought is I have to hustle, otherwise I'm I I hustle either you hustle you don't eat, nigga. you know, hustle you don't eat. You know what I'm saying? That or that or you're that or you're starving. You know what I'm saying? You don't realize it, and, and you're gonna go crazy because you're not realizing that you're you're burning yourself away. You know, like, like that's a huge ass mentality to have. Is like that's like, that's like a mental condition. You know what I'm saying? Versus being born knowing I have wealth. You know what I mean? I would, I, but that like, doesn't even save you though, hey, hey, because yeah. when you have wealth, then your fucking your emotion, your emotional yeah, shit yeah. gets fucked it's up. An, it's an indoctrination. Yeah, you know I mean, it's Being like two, in, it's yeah. two different, it's two different sides that lead to the same fucking bullshit. They say more money, more problems. That's real. Like you have different problems. I want the type of problems that Bill Gates <laughs> has. That's yeah. the kind of problems right. I want. But like yeah. we're indoctrinated to believe some shit. Like even like you saying like hustling, nigga, working for somebody else, working for somebody that's not your business. Yep. that's not hustling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's where people get it fucked up in their head. Like, you think, like, this hourly shit that they're willing to pay you For is, real. like, making their business go down? Yeah. Like, hell no. They love paying your motherfucking ass to do yep. this shit. They'll yeah. pay you hand over foot. Go ahead and ask for a that little That nigga Diddy said nigga, that. I pay money. y'all niggas to do that shit so shit. I don't have to fucking do anything. For real. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I was like, damn. Yeah. That, that's that's real shit, That's though. real shit. That's For real, real shit. I want to pay the chef. I want to pay the babysitter, nigga. I want to pay the home sitter. Watch, oh, I'm a leader, nigga. Watch the kids. I want to swim every For Thursday real. morning at four o'clock For in the morning, real, and I bro. want the pool to be 96 degrees exactly. And I want to pay <laughs> motherfuckers to do that shit. Yeah. I want to keep the water running so it's like I got waterfalls all in my house. <laughs> nigga, oh my goodness, yes. Hey, can we get a hand up, uh, around applause for that real quick, everybody? That was good. That was good. For real. You know man, yeah, you get fucked up. You get fucked up thinking that. Shh, I'm, oh man, but it's all perspective. Hours. It's perspective. It's all perspective. It's all perspective. And you looking a little. You looking so. You you using a microscope. These niggas is using a telescope, looking out <laughs> the stars and stuff. <laughs> and you looking at the lights on the whatever on the back of the car in front of you as you on your way. Six o'clock, two thirty in the morning, looking ass. 
to go to this fucking job for these people that you don't even fucking know. But niggas, niggas always in a competition know. too. And that's oh, I'm always trying to look better than this person. Oh so it's God. like they're almost fucking killing themselves. They're like, oh, I gotta yeah. keep working this job so I can okay. fucking have all this shit so oh, I yeah. could be looking cool and shit. That's what the media like, does to manipulate. For us. real, they, they like to keep material type fucking bullshit. Rat race. That, yeah. Rat race. Yeah. I got the cheese, <laughs> nah, nigga. I got the cheese. <laughs> For real. I got the cheese. Oh, nigga. you ain't got this chain, bro. Ooh. Check this out. Look what Ooh. I just got, bro. And we are so instrumental in that, basically. For they, real, they couldn't they couldn't do that without us. They could not do that without whatever us. it is we were going to do is what it was going to happen. Yep. So I yep. think that's uh, we, we go back a little bit, but that's probably why they started <laughs> killing like all like the like the the black leaders that were actually on some shit. You know, you say what? Yeah, oh. basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh. GoPro was recording. Yeah, so yeah, we got the GoPro, it so it's all good. Like uh, basically. <laughs> <laughs> You ran, you ran out of data? <laughs> oh, okay. We'll just fade in and out of this moment real fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll edit it later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, this is uh, the Negro Damas podcast, you know, just so okay. people may yeah, not know see, that. Hey, you know? That's what I'm saying. We should sure We didn't even start with the intro. This thing is starting 45 minutes into the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, we got the chat. Oh, yeah, by I the mean, way, y'all, you should have known this is the Negro Damas podcast. Negro Damas, what'd you say? It's the Negro Damas podcast. Negro Damas podcast. Uh, uh-huh. What's up? Yeah, it's it's pretty cool so far. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. As far as what, what shit we've been talking about. Oh yeah, you know, I like it. Give you guys lots of perspective. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Not telling yeah. you what to do, just giving you perspective. Yeah, yeah. helping helping you think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything don't have to be what you think it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. although a lot of time it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> metaphor in itself. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, so uh, my name is Domain, you know, I, I'm a producer, rapper, you know, you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves as well, you know? Oh yeah, you know, I, I go by tax, um, <laughs> T-A to the motherfucking X, hey. you didn't know, I'm now, not next, hey, what's up? Um, I don't know where that came from, but anyway, you know what I'm saying, we out here at the Negro Dramas Podcast, and we're trying to educate those who want to be educated, really, that part. Man, that was dope. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Yeah, name is Smoke. That's pretty much all I got. I do everything. Oh, Little engineering, video editing, streaming, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hit your boy up if you need some work done. I'm trying to get creative. You <laughs> could uh, give your Instagram. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put the hashtags and everything in there, right? Yeah. Uh, who is tax? Who is tax? I'm just playing. Uh-huh. I know you'll, you'll, see, it's we, you'll see everything <laughs> right see here. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, it damn. Out. I'll never do it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah, right there. Saw that one. general area. <laughs> oh, right there. It's <laughs> <Thomas. laughs> right between your hands. Mm-hmm. We got Casey on the uh, on the camera back, work, oh, back there working all the shit. technology and such, yeah. you know, because we need to look anything up, make sure we got to fact check ourselves on any, on, any, on any kind of information we're not sure about, you know. <laughs> we won't be on no bullshit, so, yeah. Thank, appreciate it. We're about the truth. Uh-huh. <laughs> Some real truth is over here. So, uh, yeah, what are we doing? What are we on? We were talking about something hella hard, too. We was feeling that shit. Yeah, right. Uh, you were talking about some shit. Uh, we was just talking about fucking real life, bro. Oh, yeah, disparity between the rich and the poor. Mm-hmm. We're talking about motherfucking, like, believing. Even niggas who think they got bread in the streets really don't have the type For of bread real. to manipulate their own destiny in this motherfucker on for this real. that's what's crazy to me that shit is yeah that shit's baby bread and then when niggas baby even bread. get little bread of money they feel like they they're like fuck bread. I got bread because now. that's all they know I'm richer than everybody <sighs> I know and they keep you in the same for little real. fucking space for they real. like they make sure that you stay right the fuck there you really thought you made it huh. nigga Scottsdale ain't that motherfucking far mm-hmm. and it is not that fucking nice oh my gosh <laughs> yeah it's yes, mm-hmm. right it ain't Milan Mm-hmm. It ain't motherfucking Paris. What's that one place? Uh, Qatar. 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 Mm-hmm. The, uh, the place weapon. where they do all the gambling out. Where they do the real gambling. Where yeah, they Dubai. Yeah, yeah, I mean not no, not nigga Dubai. with the princes and yeah, fucking yeah, like the yeah, niggas man. from like Dubai and yeah. like fucking those the niggas. Emirates, chill. all yeah, all that. I mean, there's places out there that we can't. That's what I'm saying. We can't even comprehend really real. what real money look like. Yeah. Other than what they put on the TVs for us to see, you don't see no Rolls Royce commercials. For real, we're actually in a really weird country. A lot of people think America is like America like the is best country, weird. but you have to understand 
this is this is a this is a slave marketplace country yes. like where the people here are raised from day one like to be workers you know yes. like uh innovators aren't necessary like we need people to work the <laughs> things we have you know what i'm saying and if you want to innovate that's, that's cool you can be in different casts but like like the whole structure of, of is, is built upon just being a worker i feel like which is yeah. kind of scary because like it's like these are people you know what i'm saying and it's like like each one of them i feel like is has this whole thing going on you know okay. but they're they have to spend so much time focused on just being that worker you know what i'm saying yeah. and you're you're ain't you ain't shit if you're not that worker you know what i'm saying you're to, you're, you're told yeah, and you're expected to, to believe to, that yeah. yeah that you ain't shit and yeah if you're not for real if you're not Damn, contributing bro, if, you're 27 years old you still don't have a job <laughs> like you know what i mean like you ain't sweating on your fucking that's head bro like Meanwhile, come on the richest people sweat the least Jeff, Jeff Bezos, you know what I'm saying? He made, I think they said it was like seventy billion dollars, like this year. You know he what made I'm saying? Thirteen billion in a day. Yeah. Not like, like I, I kept, got to thirteen billion. Not like he had eight, then got by. Yeah. Now he has thirteen. It was he zero. made thirteen that day. I couldn't believe that shit. Like I, I thought I kept rereading it, thinking I'm rereading, I'm reading this wrong because you can't make it billion dollars in a day. Like, huh? But think about it though. Think how the stock market works, bro. Oh, it's all just companies, bro. So if you know who's getting what, who's doing what, you're always gonna know how the stock market works. Not maybe exactly like you know what I mean. There's there's different scenarios, but like. The top top fools that are like oh, they know. billion billionaires, okay, like look, 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 you know what I mean. Look, these niggas say, know these let's niggas. Let's say we build wood houses, or yeah. uh, we build we build wood tables. Desmond has wood. You have nails. Yep. I build the motherfucking tables. We gonna keep the money circulating right here until it stack up, stack up. Maybe Casey want a table. We throw her one. Now we got more money to keep yep. in this circle. And grind and hustle and keep it in the motherfucking yep. family. And the more niggas you get, oh my gosh, yes. And, that's and how pretty it's, much it's, that's how it's structured and why mm-hmm. niggas are fucking mad. Like you can't <laughs> really own like a, a natural resource, but you can own the exact byproduct of that natural resource. What the fuck? I he, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. I'm just saying Blow I got them the up, bro, kid. for real. <laughs> All right, so we've been buying these. Uh, they're called water wipes. Uh-huh. And like the packaging looks great. It looks like organic baby yeah. wipe type yeah. shit. All right, right. Mm-hmm. I read on the packaging, and it says it says water wipes. So I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna put that on the side. That's exactly what it is. It's the first podcast, so we'll give it a couple we'll <laughs> break on this one. Let's walk, but, <laughs> um, but these motherfucking water wipes, and like they say, say they're water wipes are 90 they don't put no sanitizer alcohol no type of cleaning solution in these motherfucking wipes it's 99.9 percent water with 0.1 percent of what <laughs> oh, fucking grapefruit you, nigga. extract that i was like i said what, what? what? <laughs> Sick. Point one percent grapefruit extra. I'm not even making this shit up. We can, we can go to the store and buy the motherfuckers extra expensive than the regular ones right now at the motherfucking store. And oh my god, we bought so many at first. Mm. Then I read this shit. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm not even really cleaning my baby. I'm not. I'm oh like, my I god. rinsed her down. She shitted and I rinsed her down. That's all I did. We just go put some water right here, wipe it off. I mean, it looked clean, but like, there's no. Antibacterial, and yeah. y'all couldn't, y'all didn't put some lavender at least. Nigga, I can't, what, what, what is going on here? Mm. But yeah, man, like, that's what I'm saying. You don't necessarily got to own it. That's, man, you can own the water in the air, that would be great, but they don't do that. They own the good water, the mineral water, the right. smart water, and the good air that you need in the, in the, whatever, in the hospital that's fucking recycled every goddamn day or. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, man. It's absolutely. It's Maybe like, on some shit. It's like like Maybe all the people that shit. live around here. What do the people own around here? Besides, like most, some people may own their house, which is which is what. Like your your house is like uh, just some sticks. Man. You know what I'm saying? Some sticks on some on. Not you don't have the you don't have the mineral rights. You, you might you may think you have the mineral rights, but you don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the eminent domain your ass. Like it ain't nothing. Oh, domain. Quick. That's what they did yeah. to my uh, domain. Mm. That's what they did to my grandma. Yeah. My house, the house that I was born, that uh, I was, well, I don't want to say born in, I was born in the house, but like the home I grew up in, yeah. um, she bought her house early or whatever, I don't know really at what age, but she owned that property, and just because of where we lived, crack house, crack house, whatever, da 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 da, 
houses burning down and stuff. We're in row homes. Mm-hmm. There are no homes around outside of our home now. Like it, it, it was gone. She's the only block. She was the only house on that entire square block. That was the coolest shit ever. Mm-hmm. How it didn't give us no extra land or nothing. It was just that's what it was. And the government was like, shit, we could put a nice little parking lot right there. And she tried to hold out for a good sum of money. You know what I'm saying? Something that was worth. Because basically, I own the land. Mm. You can't build shit here unless I'm unless I move my house. Mm. And she stuck on, and they realized, oh, this woman has her wits about her. She knows that what this shit is worth. I'm like, hey, look, we'll just give you another house since you want to hold out so long. Mm. Well, we can just kick you the fuck out. And, and like at the end of the day, she was like, well, okay, just give me another house. And she got another house in a, in a better location, I guess. But really, at the end of the day, you're right. You don't really own anything. You live in a place and you sign some shit For that real. says you own some shit, but you really sign <laughs> some shit. <laughs> that nigga say you out, yeah, you out. You out. Yeah. yeah. If I if they say I'm out, I'm out. Jimmy <laughs> Taylor. What the fuck? It's like we're led to believe this is like like America, but it's still like kind of like the Queen's land, where it's like you don't have you don't own the shit, you know. Oh, shit. Like there, they, at least they have it on paper that way. There, it says like uh, that like. They're just they're just kind of renting. You're you're taking care of this land for the queen, like right. you're you don't own you don't own shit. You're like you're you're just you're just a uh, what's the word like like what does Jesus do with the sheep? Like uh, he, a shepherd. Yeah, he just leads them into a proper direction. Yeah, you're the shepherd of the land. Okay, yeah. ain't yours though. You know, it ain't yours though. Hey, and you know what though? And then like, I guess go back to what's his name, Jeff Bezos. Mm-hmm. That nigga. He doesn't own a natural resource, but, like, he is a major, like, intersection for so many businesses. Mm-hmm. I, I just bought two pair of Dickies that I can buy at Walmart. I bought the a different pair of these Dickies at Walmart, and I was like, oh, man. And I haven't been able to find them since. I'm like, man, I really like the way they, they fit. They're good for work, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I couldn't find them. So I just ordered them on Amazon. Uh, I ordered two pairs. They got here this morning. Mm-hmm. I ordered them uh, on Amazon. And I'm like, Jeff Bezos don't own nothing at Dickies. He don't own nothing at Yankee Candle. He don't own nothing at any of these places where you can purchase their shit. Yeah. And they're like, here, Jeff Bezos, here's a dollar. Thanks. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, for real? Like, mm. Yeah, yeah. You sold us $20 worth of candles or a, for a fucking carpet. You can buy anything on fucking Amazon these yeah. days. <laughs> you can order services on Amazon these days. You can order movies, entertainment on Amazon these days. And all of that money goes to Jeff Bezos. Every cent, every cent from the TV show, from the advertising they put on the TV show if you didn't buy Prime, nigga, every cent that goes through Amazon, A to motherfucking Z with the hook, dot com, goes to Jeff Bezos. That shit is amazing. And that's a natural resource that we just mm-hmm. take advantage of. We can go buy shit on regular old Google. We used to buy shit on eBay. That nigga, how much money he make? Mm. Uh, I'm sure he made hella bread. Yeah. GoDaddy.com. All of these things. Craigslist. That's an organization. That nigga fucked up. Didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he, he really getting the bread that he needed, <laughs> he needed to get. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this internet thing, and they're saying that they're trying to make it free, right? Yeah. Well, somebody was saying that. that sound like some, uh, they're trying to do Wi Fi. Some like, Bernie Sanders type shit is what it's I think, isn't that Elon? They that, should that's make that's internet free. were about, wasn't it? And like then okay then we get to this. But stuff. you just have subscription stuff on there. Man, you have subscription stuff on there. But if the internet's free, then they're chipping everybody. Here, I'm gonna go pee real quick. You guys okay. can keep talking. Though. I'm okay. Well, actually, I'm gonna go get my order because I don't need to drink another drink. Okay. Probably. All right, we're gonna take a quick we'll take uh, commercial break. break. Thanks, guys. Mm. Put these beers. Your can or whatever. It's just on recording. This is recording. He just was like, I'm cool for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This is the tricking era. I need to stay back. Right. And he realized that, you know what? There's a couple players out here. Got their mind right. <coughs> I thought we weren't going to smoke. The, you want to save it for after? For this one, um, I could just have the, this camera over here when y'all are smoking and over here when he's smoking. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like that 70s show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. There you, go. you know, it was like a long time. I think you told me. I never knew that's what they were doing. Me neither. <laughs> I had no, I had no right? clue they were doing that shit. We were all a bunch of naive kids when we first watched yeah. it, though. And found maybe at least 15, 16, 17 years old. They were smoking weed. You know, so like all the episodes before that too. <laughs> 
these donors. I thought they were just silly. That's crazy. You just don't know what that is. It's like your parents like smoking incense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Just so when you pass it, it's kind of passive. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll see how. Yeah, because I can't see anything below here on, on Desmond. Okay. So. Cool. Okay. What the fuck was we talking about? Are we gonna are we gonna cut back from the commercial? All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> we're uh, guys back uh, right where we left off. <laughs> we're just kind of gonna like fade in, kind of like <laughs> we've already faded in at this point. Like, uh, like, uh, yeah, we could have been faded in even earlier, really. Like, it doesn't have but yeah. <laughs> Why hello? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sugar free stove. Oh yeah, sugar free. Oh, oh man, man. Pepsi. Pimp C, DJ Quick, yeah. I, you know what, I just follow uh, DJ Quick on Instagram, see, he's still active, how are you still, bro, you old as hell, half the kids don't know who you are, half the kids don't know who you are, but you still cracking on Instagram, you still can trend sometimes, you go live, you might still pop up with 10,000, oh, <laughs> I can't remember, oh shit, when the last time DJ Quick dropped some shit? I don't know. Who? Right, uh, that's how they are these days. That's how they are these days. But yeah, but yeah, you're right though. You, I mean, you just tap into it and you realize, oh damn, this nigga's still doing the same thing that he was doing that I know him for, just like Sugar Free. Yeah, there was no advertising for that shit. And you know what? That's cool to be able to have a following. That's like, all you need, bro. Yeah, that, if like, you cool with how you live in, you just need a certain yep. amount of people to fuck with you, yeah, and you're yeah. good. Stay out the way. Stay in your own lane. You know what I'm that's saying? exactly what I'm trying to create. I heard that. Heard that? That's the best thing. Cre create your own. Yeah, it's in create every, that community, bro. In art, at home, at yep, work, anything. in any situation, yep, everybody them. has their own frequency, their own vibrations. Yep. Nigga, stay on your you own. You just gotta shit. connect with the yep. niggas. So you really? just gotta keep going, and eventually you are gonna find the niggas that connect with you. Man. You just niggas just give up too quick. That's it. That's it. That's it. And it's like so, shit don't happen as quick for you as it does for other niggas, and it's like. Even the shit that does happen quick for this niggas, it's like you don't necessarily want their life. You just want like you just want what they have almost. Like yeah. the type of shit that they're getting. Right. You don't necessarily want to live their exact life, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. So it's like you can't really speak that type of thing to existence. Because it's not what you really want. That's why they keep playing that motherfucking Drake video in yeah. this big ass house. They make me think, Oh, I, man, I'm not as successful as Drake unless I have a house <laughs> yeah. that big. Yeah. I want a bigger pool than Kanye. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what motherfuckers, uh, what did it say, DJ Khaled said on that one track? Mm -hmm. They don't want you to have a bigger pool than Kanye. Damn, That's now right. this is a new standard. Somebody yeah. that I don't know, um, oh, shit, somebody man. that I don't know is now this new standard of living that I'm like, now I'm trying to put upon myself. Mm -hmm. I'm, when, when you seen Kanye in the, uh, in the interview, what, maybe a couple months ago, he was mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, but Kanye doesn't want to get a jacuzzi. Oh my God, we don't have a jacuzzi. In my head, mm. I thought Kanye had a jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. You could have never told me that Kanye didn't have a jacuzzi unless I heard it from his motherfucking mouth because that's something that they made me believe that that was a part of success. Yeah. Even though who I really believe is like the greatest artist of my generation mm. doesn't have a jacuzzi. Now I know. Now I don't want a jacuzzi no more. Mm -hmm. Fuck me up that fast. <laughs> I never wanted a jacuzzi really in the first place. Like I would use it, but like. Now if I get a pool, I'm not can care less about getting a jacuzzi. Well, they don't want you to be like Kanye. Kanye over here demanding to be on the board of directors of Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, like they don't they don't talk about that. They talk about him talking about a, a Harriet Tubman. They don't talk about him saying I I I'm making all your fucking money. Why aren't I on the board of directors? They never talk about that portion of the news. It's always it's always that he got out of line. He's off the plantation. You, you know, know what I'm you know what I mean. But Adidas is like he cut his chains. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's, it's always some shit like that. He's off his meds. You know. And is it Adidas on some weird shit? Like where they on some? Isn't that didn't that stem from some? Some controversy. I don't want to say like some Nazi type stuff, I have but no didn't idea, it? To be honest, uh, Adidas. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, I, I don't have any personal yeah, recollection. I don't know, know. Board of directors. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know, Kanye. The man only thinks in art. He only thinks in in, in exclamations. Mm -hmm. Like, no, hell no. We can't have you on our board of directors. Don't nobody know who we are, Kanye. Mm -hmm. We can't just introduce somebody that everybody knows to our board. Now everybody gonna be looking at us like. Well, these yeah. are the people that work with Kanye every motherfucking yeah. day. Right. Faces behind a company. Yeah. Invisible. Meanwhile, uh, that shit's crazy. Yeah. Shit. But yeah, it's 
my man's though. His music is doesn't. It's gonna. It's gonna be like. How did he talk that? Michael Jackson. Whatever he was Leave Kanye on. alone. I like that last shit he dropped. It was cool. What, what uh, whatever man to each his own. last album I loved everything yeah. he I mean I oh. like everything that he had but it's like you know what you I mean? talking about the Sunday service was that the last one he dropped the the, the blue one, one the big blue one no not the gospel one the one before that one oh 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 my beautiful like, dark some twisted bitch. fantasy huh my beautiful dark twisted fantasy no 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 no, no, no that no, was no. that was uh, amazing violent crimes bipolar ghost town. Um, oh, no, oh, I love that one, shit. Not, not the one with that Cuddy. shit changed my life. What? You the one way, the one he did with Cuddy was fire. Yeah. So then, what are you talking about? He had, I forgot. I don't remember what the name of the album was. Man, you're talking about a different artists. He had this. one album, bro. It did not, not smack. There's no Kanye album. I, it, it, I I'm not. I don't even know. I'm entertaining this thought because <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I love that nigga. Everything, yo. Okay, my baby girl loves Hands On. Like I remember, mm-hmm. she was crying. Like. Maybe a month out, maybe not even two or three weeks or whatever. But we in the house and like in the morning she crying, and like it was okay. It wasn't a, an uncomfortable cry or whatever. It's just you know what I'm saying what they do. And I just played, I just played hands on because I like that song so much. I'm like this, is, she might vibe to this, and immediately shut up. Oh the quiet hands on, hands on, high hands on. To this day, I can put that motherfucking song on and shit. She recognizes the voice. Oh, Kanye's fire. Yo, Kanye fire. He's an artist. Yes. Like, to be able to tap into an energy or a frequency yeah. or whatever, a vibration or whatever that is yeah. unique, period. Yeah. Like, you can come up with 100,000 trap songs, they all gonna eventually sound the same. Yeah. But, like, he really creates sonic art. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. Every time I hear some new stuff from him, even if it's nothing, he, he reinvents himself every album. Yeah. It's a new, it's a new different Kanye. Yeah. That's how I be feeling. I love Travis Scott, but I feel like he's an imitation of what oh, Kanye's doing. I've been trying to grab one of Travis Scott just recently. I feel you. It's like what he's doing is similar to that, but like But he's not creating he, shit It's almost stuff. like trap Kanye. It's like it's like it's like if, if, if they were gonna make mass produce his music. Okay. It's it's how I feel. You now, know what I'm saying? Travis Scott, is he he's producing his stuff too? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that bro, okay. that that yes. full that full like Right, Music dude, wise, like you're thing. talking, you're that thing. nigga Travis is and, that too. And, and I'm saying I've been trying to get on him. I've, there's a uh, he's different. Rest in peace, screw. Mm-hmm. Um, coffee bean. I thought I played you coffee bean. Coffee bean put me in my feelings about a woman. I was like, you know what? Damn, mm-hmm. I forgot about this boy back in 2016. Mm-hmm. No, now I remember her it. like she's sitting next to me. <laughs> God oh, damn. Uh, hey, I, I'm saying nah, I'm, fuck, I'm, I'm starting to fuck with Travis Scott, but like yeah. I can't go and reach out and find him. I, I gotta put on a radio station and he might be on. So I can get a random song. Nah, I feel like nah, I, I can't. you got to get that good stuff. You got to get the good Travis Scott. I think I'm getting. I thought. I, I mean, getting... I mean, the, the the radio stuff is, but you know how radio. Well, no, no, stuff no, no, is. not that radio. I mean, like, like uh, the um, the station on my phone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 like yeah, the, yeah. The, oh, the yeah, Google yeah, generated yeah, yeah, playlist. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love that. Oh, I yeah. love. I'll, I'll discover some new music all the time on there. I really be fucking with Google. They know me too well. They know me too. Telling well. you. I play Nipsey mm-hmm. Hustle. Hey, play Nipsey Hustle. And they played like eight songs in Nipsey Hustle, and then they started playing Kanye and Kid Cudi. I'm like, this is not a related yes. artist, but, yeah, <laughs> right. but yes, y'all know I fuck with this nigga. Damn, all right, cool guys, and that was that was gravy. But they know too much about me. It's, it's scary. It's kind of scary. It's scary having people have any kind of knowledge about you. You know what I mean? Especially right. people don't that you don't know. Intimate knowledge. Not yeah. just regular. He a black, he a black man. So they know what you're so into. Know me. Yeah. That's what I say. They know you better than you do. You know? What do you want to know? Hey, <laughs> go ahead. That part. Mm. Shit. Like, I get, I get people like that, but it's like, at the end of the day, like, what are you trying to know? You just want to know things about me to sell me things that I want? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like all right, I'm like I have the choice to buy it or not. It's like it's not like you're forcing me to buy it. Yeah, thank it's you more of like a it's like it's more like a hypnotism thing. But it's like people give into that. Okay, but you're not gonna. The, the scary part is is because people don't know if they're being like, like just shown the stuff that they like. Like oh yeah, oh you heard you like some good ass weed. Hey bro, here's some drugs. <laughs> yeah, type shit. Or it's or like being persuaded. Or being persuaded. Yeah. Yeah. But that's all you right there. And if you're not, the normal guy, obviously you're gonna fall for anything. It's not all you because your subconscious is now inside of Google. True, true. Whether you like to call it a number or not, that's a part of your subconscious. True. That what they look at, they can look at eye patterns. 
Yeah. If you when you when you focus on some stuff on your screen on your yeah. phone, mm-hmm. that's really in the in the user agreement. Yep. That you yeah. said, yeah, cool. At gmail.com, no problem. Like that fast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so is it cool if we uh, look at your retinas when you look at your screen and like maybe map something out so we can figure out who you are to influence you to buy things that would make us more money? Like, oh, sure, shit, bro. Dude. If you think that's possible, at bro, gmail. go ahead and try me. Yeah, at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah, yep. exactly. Follow me here and get email me. But there. I feel like that's a good self test almost. Like, yeah, I understand. I understand yeah. what you're saying. Oh, that yeah. shit is bad. Yeah, I mean, but because that shit I'm, is bad. Because I'm cognizant of it, I think I'm okay. But like, there, that's why people be hella nervous. But you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. If you don't know about it, if you're not paying, if you don't have a stuff, good mind, you're being that, sh- that shit's that shit's a wrap. Yeah. Like, that's that's news. Yeah. That's people that watch the news every day. Every you know day, what I mean? and you end up believing it. Mm-hmm. I don't watch. I don't have no cable. I don't Ooh. watch none of that. That's but right. I don't watch anything, bro. I just literally fucking work. Try to do the yeah. fucking stream, and you know what I mean. I just try to do the shit see. that's gonna propel me. If anything else, I just gotta be bullshit. like, I can't be persuaded by anything else. I can't let other stuff manipulate me. Like that shit's cool, but it's like, like <laughs> the stuff that I'm trying to do is not gonna be the majority for everybody. So yeah. obviously, what I'm doing, no, yeah. a lot of people aren't gonna relate with. So if it's exactly. just me, it's cool. Exactly. And, and you have to be fucking content with yourself. You know you're being brainwashed. Are you really being brainwashed? Jesus. <laughs> On that note, uh, I think that's a really good point. We could stop. Yes. I okay. think. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're ready to go. You said, All right. I guess. <laughs> um, that's excellent. You know the the um, just just we're being brainwashed. You know, and uh, I think the viewers just go ahead and just look into that. So. Um, nice. This is the Negro Domus podcast where we're not trying to brainwash you. We're just trying to let you know how we feel and what we're thinking on top of our head. You know, yeah. it's all top. All right. All opinions. Mm-hmm. All opinions. Yeah. You know <laughs> Mostly yeah. fact based mm-hmm. opinions, but uh, opinions nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. You know. Yeah. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Uh, this was well, this was this was, this was amazing. You know. Yeah. Uh, my name is Domain. You can follow me on this thing right here. It's gonna be on the on the thing. Uh, who y'all? Oh yeah, I'm Tyson. You already know. Mm-hmm. Smoke. Yeah. Follow your boy. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. God bless. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah.